Hello YouTube bottom feeders, I'm here with a new series looking at Settlers 2, the 10th anniversary, and in this series I intend to engineer and optimize Settlers 2 so that we can win every battle, understand everything. So we're going to be digging deep into some of the characters, and at the same time we're going to walk through some of the levels. So without further ado, let's get started. Settlers 2, the 10th anniversary edition is an absolutely glorious remake of Settlers 2, the original. And as you can see, it's been 3 d ized and just really graphically overhauled. The gameplay, which was so brilliant in the first and second uh, versions of Settlers back in 1993 and maybe 2001, I don't know, uh, were just amazing. So uh, here we go, build buildings, that's what you do in this game. First thing we're going to look at is the wood production a group of buildings, and uh, so we have to build various things like a sawmill, like a woodcutter's, thing that we're going to focus on today which is a forester. Foresters are guys who don't need any external resources. They're at the bottom of the food chain and they only, they only need a house and then they start planting trees for you. That's where you get one of your basic resources which is wood and you're going to need wood for everything. So that's what we're going to start with. So here you have a basic wood production system. You've got a forester who plants the trees, you've got a woodcutter who cuts down those trees and then he takes the trunks or logs to the sawmill where they get turned into planks which is what you use to build buildings, to build boats, to build uh, tools, build all sorts of things. And in this system we've also put in a storehouse so that the, uh, the planks can go straight in there. So if we look closely there's the forester's hut and he'll go out and plant trees nearby. There he goes. We also have the woodcutter who goes and chops down the trees, turns them into logs. Those logs get transported to the sawmill where they're cut up and turned into planks. And you can see in here that the sawmill can have up to six uh, logs in the system at once. You can store them there and then use them immediately. So there's uh, like a depot system, but you can't have any more than six. So you need a storehouse to store extra, and of course, you can use it to store the planks themselves that come out. And you can put these close to the sawmill so that when you need them, they can come from close to the sawmill rather than having to go back to your main storage. So there's our little system. We're going to focus on the Forester today. So I've set myself up with a blank slate. I've cut down all the nearby trees so we can focus on the Forester himself. And here I've put my Forester, selected that one, and then built a path. I've built it like that just for aesthetics. There's no reason why you have to follow the trails. But, um, yep. So he's going to build this Forester's hut in the middle of nowhere, and then we're going to see how long it takes for the Forester to, uh, to plant the trees and for when they become available. Here he comes now, here's our forester. Good, he's got a shovel in order to be able to plant the trees. Now we're going to record a few things as, uh, as he comes out. We've gotten rid of the road because he doesn't need any resources, so he can just sit by himself and he can't plant a tree on roads, so we've given him as much space as possible. So we're going to record when he comes out of his house, that's his exiting, when he starts working, it's the second thing we're going to record, what, how long it takes him to do that how long it takes him to actually plant the tree to finish work and then how long it takes him to get back and enter his house again. We're then going to record how long he rests, so when does he come back out of his house and we're going to record the growth of the trees. So the trees have two growth stages, they kind of have a width growth, growth stage which they're in now. Look at that little Bambi there, I just love the aesthetic of this game, it's fantastic. Um, Okay, so the tree has grown to its full width, and now it starts to grow tall. It grows tall for a while. Uh, before it's even finished growing, the forester comes back out, and he's finished his rest period, so he started another loop. So we're going to do some math. We're going to figure out how long it takes him to do everything, and that way we can estimate how long it's going to take each, or how many trees we will get from each forester, and then how long. Now here's the fun bit, some math, right? So uh, what we've done is we've done eight observations. We've figured out when he exits, when he starts, when he plants, uh, when he goes back to his house and re-enters, uh, how long he rests for. And I've measured that, observed that eight times as well. Also watching the trees when they grow, uh, get to the end of the first stage, when they get to their final growth 
point uh, and then obviously at the end of his rest time he exits again so that's the beginning of the second observation so doing all of that we've figured out how long it takes each thing and on average it takes him 10 seconds to get to work he works for 10 uh, he works for five seconds he travels home a little bit swifter than he travels out because he kind of goes around and um, doesn't go straight to the work site but when he's going home he goes straight home so his total journey time on average over eight observations 23 seconds rest for about 31 seconds his full day is 55 seconds there's some rounding in there for the extra second so that's his work day and after he's planted the first stage of growth takes about 26 seconds so of the tree the second stage takes about 1 minute 15 seconds, 1 minute 14 seconds, and so total growth time is about 1 minute 41 seconds. So from the time when the forester exits his house to when a tree has grown on average 1 minute 56 seconds. And so I've put some uh, put a formula together to figure out the, uh, the line, average line, and so he gets about one tree in the first 1.9 minutes, and the second tree in the second 2.9 minutes and then I've put together how many trees you can expect after each minute so uh, here's the line you can see uh, trees by time and after five you'll get five trees in 5.6 minutes you'll get 10 trees in 10.2 minutes you'll get 15 trees in 14.8 minutes so we can see it's about one tree every 55 seconds after the first tree so it's very close to a minute basically so about one tree per minute an extra tree about once every 10 minutes so uh, that's what we've worked out there's just one thing we need to figure out now which is will the woodcutter cut down a tree that hasn't come to its full growth will it cut down a tree that's at half growth thereby speeding up production so here we've got a tree that's just been planted by a forester there are no other trees I got rid of all the other trees um, actually just by building a whole lot of woodcutters Let's see if the woodcutter will build this tree. Now the tree has reached its first stage of growth. It's now growing uh, just vertically. So this is the second stage of growth. Now if the woodcutter doesn't come out now, uh, then it's not, it's not gonna uh, cut down the tree until it's fully grown. And if he comes out when it's fully grown, just like that, we know that he immediately sees when the tree has grown and goes and chops it down. He's not interested in these trees that aren't fully grown. So it is after growth period. That is the Forester and hopefully you've learned something. If uh, I should mention that if all the spaces around are used up he's going to have to go further afield so one of the keys to keeping Foresters productive is going to be chopping down those trees as quickly as possible and we'll get into that in our next um, focus video on the woodcutter but until then I'm going to do a quick video on a walkthrough for the first level which uh, won't take very long at all uh, in the meantime, there's our forester. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day.